Richo61 did a pretty good video recently about what's in a name in terms of atheist, theist, uh, agnostic, or whatever. He mentions godless. Um, yeah, I agree with what he's saying, and that's one of the reasons why I still refuse to call myself an atheist, because I think that the word atheist has too much baggage attached to it, and it's too vague. If people say, are you an atheist? I'm ten tempted to just sort of say, do you want an honest answer, or do you want a convenient answer? Um, and Because the two aren't exactly the same thing. In fact, I would say that they're in many ways they're miles apart. Um, my favorite illustration, I've mentioned this before, is what the Buddha did when people would ask him about the gods or metaphysics or anything like that. His response to that sort of inquiry was, his, uh, his famous smile, or infamous smile. He just didn't get into it. Um, as far as I can tell, his position was, if there are gods, they're more or less irrelevant, or they're just as trapped in the wheel of existence as humans are. So why bother looking to them for any answers or any, of anything, assuming they even exist? Um, I think I agree with that, too. Um, and, you know, you have these other examples where, say, if you look at the Hindus, the Hindus will say, their scriptures or their philosophers or whatever will say that, yeah, there's all kinds of other, there's all kinds of gods out there, but none of them really exist in the way that you might think that they exist. They're all just one, and even one is inaccurate um, in terms of describing what godness is. Uh, yeah, I guess the word is agnosticism or igtheism or something like that. Even that, I think I agree with it, but I don't really want to say that that's my position because, again, do you want an accurate answer or do you want an honest answer or do you want a convenient answer? There's any number of ways to answer that question. Um, but uh, Richo has made a, a good video as to why he holds the position or non-position or non-committal position, or even why he doesn't have a position, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, and I, I would encourage anyone to watch it. It's pretty good. Um, and I would add to that, um, this does not mean, and he alludes to this as well, that words are useless. They're very useful. But we just have to make sure that we don't expect them to do everything, because that's an enormous... Um, block in terms of getting at the truth. Um, the second you think that your tools are adequate to the job, I think that you've gone off the <laughs> off the map. You've gone off the, the path. Um, because you're talking about things that maybe our tools are not up to uh, grappling with. Uh, language, even art, music, that kind of thing. Uh, how do you describe something that, you know, you, you, you can't even begin to, to set the parameters of a discussion, or not just a discussion, or a comparison of terminology, even if you're using poetry and art, music. Uh, what is it, what does existence mean, or non-existence, or whatever? And yet, it is something that needs to be addressed, I guess. And I tend to think, just keep, you know, uh, you're not really going to get anywhere, but you'll clarify things inside your own head if you just continue to talk about it. Um... I live in Canada. We have English and French people in Canada. Um, and one thing both of us are known for is our capacity to talk everything out of existence, talk everything to death. That's how we've gotten these two sort of traditionally hostile peoples to exist inside the same country. We just negotiate forever, and it never stops. And we never really resolve anything. Things tend to just peter out here. Or they tend to evolve very slowly and imperceptibly as opposed to changing radically. Um, and I think that's how most of our beliefs tend to change. Uh, sudden conversions or sudden subscriptions to new ideas I tend to be suspect uh, of because I sort of think, okay, well, you've just sort of reacted to raw emotion or you've reacted to, you know, something you hadn't thought before and it disoriented you to the point where it blew your mind and you sort of got derailed by that. Um, I think that constantly revisiting everything might be a frustrating exercise and it might be even frightening to some people who require some sort of anchor. But 
if you're looking for the truth, <laughs> um, what was it that Nietzsche said? If you want happiness, ease, and a comfortable life and peace of mind, then believe. If you seek after knowledge, then inquire. Just keep inquiring, I guess. Um, and understand that it might not, you might be making progress, but you might not be aware of it. Don't know, it's hard to explain again. Um, titles, names, words, etc.